Hello and welcome to the first episode of iOS Dev Tools. In this series, we will be discussing tools that can help increase our productivity as iOS developers. Today, we'll be focusing on Proximan, a debugging proxy app that monitors network traffic on your Mac. Before we continue, I have to mention that this is not a sponsored video. Proximan is a product I really like and rely on my everyday work. However, I did contact the developer Noah who was super generous and did offer some free licenses for you guys. More on that later. So let's explore the app, shall we? When you launch the app, you will immediately see a bunch of uh, HTTP requests that your Mac is sending, along with the corresponding responses. The interface is quite simple. You have these three main sections. The sidebar showing the origin of the request, whether that be the domain or the apps performing those requests. You'll also have your favorite up here. You have the main section where you can uh, see the actual request and uh, some metadata like the URL, the client, the duration of that request. And you can actually uh, right click on the table header to get more options. And down below, you have the previewer where you can see much details about the request and its corresponding response. One of the reasons why I love this app is that it is a native uh, Mac app. And uh, as you can see, it is really well crafted. Uh, the second reason and uh, the most important thing for me is that you guess it, you can inspect every single HTTP request your app is performing and this is such a life savior for me. To give you an example, I was recently working on an iOS app for a client and they already had an Android counterpart with many features already implemented and I needed to catch up for the iOS app. We had the documentation of the web services on Swagger but it was constantly uh, changing and I couldn't rely on it. What I did was to download Android Studio clone the app, integrate Proximan to the Android simulator, and run the app. Doing so, I was able to see all the requests performed by the app as I was navigating from feature to feature and sending requests to the server. I was able to see the payloads for post and uh, put requests alongside the headers. And that allowed me to create codable objects to interact with the web services. And in no time, I replicated uh, all the features the Android developers had implemented in the iOS app. How cool was that? Now, speaking of integration, let's see how to use Proximan to preview the network traffic your app is making. We have two options. You can either preview uh, the requests and responses from the simulator or from your iPhone. To do so, we need to install a certificate. And it is really simple. We need to go to Certificate, Install Certificate on uh, iOS. And here we can see the available options. So we can uh, install that certificate on our physical de device, uh, our, our iPhone. Or uh, in, we can install it uh, in the simulator. And uh, I currently have an app running. This is uh, on the simulator. So this is what I will choose. Once you click on it, you'll have this uh, pop-up window. And all you need to do is uh, to follow the instruction. So here I'm going to install and trust. And I'm going to reboot the simulator, which was uh, running right here. It is rebooting. Okay. Uh, so let me, uh, that's done. Let me close this and uh, put Proximan and uh, the simulator side by side. I'm going, yes, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, the windows are now arranged, so we can now uh, start to uh, intercept HTTP requests sent from our app. Let's build and run it. Build it succeeded. Okay, so I have here a simple login form and uh, uh, we can uh, send the email and uh, the password. And let's say that uh, I've forgotten the password to uh, 
to begin the forget password uh, flow i'm going to tap here uh, put my email and uh, let's click on this button so uh, we saw a request going through but uh, let's say let's see uh, we are going to order those requests so here is my domain i can actually once you see your domain you can uh, actually uh, um, pin it so you will see them uh, on this favorite and and you'll see that it is going to show you only uh, the request coming from uh, that domain so i'll put here my verification code okay you see another another one another request and like i told you you can uh, see here the details of uh, that request here we can see uh, the response and uh, we have the request header here now let's perform another request um, i'm going to put a new secret code here And voila, so uh, this was this was a third request. So we uh, still have uh, the request uh, header and uh, the body here, right? Uh, the response. And uh, yeah, so like I told you, you can inspect all the traffic uh, uh, from uh, this uh, simulator. And I find this uh, really, really, really uh, useful. It can save you a lot of time. Uh, when you are working, uh, when you are interacting with some uh, web services. And uh, to inspect, you can also inspect uh, the traffic on your iPhone. Just follow uh, the step uh, here. Like you have this uh, pen that will show you um, the steps you need to uh, perform in order to have, uh, in order to begin to intercept uh, HTTP traffic directly uh, from your iPhone. So we are not going to go uh, through that uh, today. But it is worth to mention that uh, it is also a really good uh, way to reverse engineer some of uh, your best app on your phone. You can just open those apps and see the HTTP traffic uh, they are uh, doing, which is uh, really nice. One of my favorite feature is to enlarge this request to better view the details and you can do so by clicking on this button or hitting the keystroke control command up arrow that will show you the details on a floating window. So here you can see the request, its header, its body uh, for a post or put request and you have the response on the right side with its details as well. And uh, you can actually do some interesting things with uh, the response like formatting it or opening it with an external editor or uh, just to export it. Let's close this uh, floating window. Now among other uh, really nice feature of uh, this app, uh, we can uh, edit a request and send it back uh, to the server. So let's uh, just right click uh, on that request so we can edit and repeat that request. So I'm definitely going to introduce, try to introduce some error here so that uh, you can see uh, this. Okay, so uh, I I um, send back this uh, request and you can see here that I have an error. Let me bring back this. Uh, so you can see here um, the response because this URL uh, doesn't exist. Uh, you can copy uh, this request as curl right here. And uh, you can copy it and execute uh, that request um, on your terminal and do some update to the parameters before sending it just like uh, what we've done here. You can export a request at different format, right? So uh, you can export it as a log CVS uh, for Postman. Um, you can just export uh, either the response body or uh, the request and uh, its response and publish to GIS. 
we don't have uh, the time to go through all the feature but i encourage you to explore uh, the app and uh, try to see uh, what features uh, talks to you best so after showing you these cool features let's see now uh, where we can uh, download uh, the app you can go to proximen.io to uh, download uh, the free trial of the app i'm not sure about uh, the duration of that trial but um, yeah you can experiment with it and uh, here you can see uh, some cool features uh, we already covered in this video and many more so you have uh, something like filters graphql uh, some scripting tool breakpoint and uh, and so on and uh, for the pricing i think that uh, it is a uh, $69 for standard license and $79 uh, for personal one. And here comes the interesting part of that video. Noah, the developer of this app, was kind enough to offer five, yes, five licenses for the audience. So I'm doing here a giveaway and to win one of these licenses, you only have to subscribe to the channel and make a comment down below on this video. I'll announce the winner next month on the next episode of this series. So uh, thank you so much Noah for the free licenses and uh, thank you for providing us this beautiful app. So guys, that's it for uh, this iOS Dev Tool episode. Good luck for the giveaway and uh, let me know down in the comment below um, which tool you'd like me to cover next time. Until then, have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.